Hey everyone, it's Professor Clark, and in this short little lecture, we are going to learn a little bit more about the preposition na and its use with the prepositional case. As we learned in our lecture on the prepositional case, na plus the prepositional case has two meanings, on and at. And so that first meaning is used to indicate location on a flat open space. So we could say, for example, na stalia on the table, na stinia, on the wall. We also use na to indicate being on many forms of transport. For example, na avtobusia means on the bus. So just like in English, in Russian, you would be on a train or on a bus. The second meaning of the preposition na is similar to at, and we use it to indicate being at an activity. The part where it's difficult is that sometimes what English defines as an enclosed space, Russian defines as an activity, and vice versa. For example, in English, we say in class, but in Russian, classes or lessons are activities, and so we normally use na. For example, na zanyati. Uh, that's the Russian equivalent of in class, but in Russian you are at class because class is an activity. Or na rabotya, at work. There it's the same. Both English and Russian consider work to be an activity, and so we say na rabotya, at work. <laughs>